wet ice out Brian's there. Brian's still out there. Goes to his loss. Now Reed going to just dump it back in the zone here for the Utes. Out there, two minutes. And York goes back to play it and meets Weininger. Pucked in front of the net. Pattis trying to get to it, but unable to do so. Here comes Spencer. Spencer rings it around the boards. Gibb comes out to stop it. Spencer still gives chase and is going after it in the corner. Now the Utes with it but being pinned against the boards. Here comes Otley. Otley skating into the zone. He's got the puck on his forehand, goes for the backhand pass behind the back, but it doesn't reach York. Trojans trying to clear the zone, comes up top to now the Trojans have it. 15 now, minutes. Will up to McDonald, McDonald turns and goes. There's a couple of youths with him. C-Strand has some speed, he's going in. He's going to try pry. to get in front of the goalie. Behind the net. slide it through there, but it doesn't quite make it. Puck on the far boards. Coons throws it back down to the corner. Trojans goalie took on a very quick. He's been quick, and he's been needing to be quick lately. Uh, it's the Utes all of a sudden creating a lot of pressure on net. And uh, if the Trojans want to keep this lead, lead, they need to confide and trust that Eric Ciccone is going to stand Here tall. Here comes Two-on-one opportunity developing. He shoots it. Rebound opportunity for Doug Newell, but it goes just past him. Harris blasts it towards the net. That's stopped by Ciccone. Now Manning. Manning trying to get it out. Newman controlling it behind the net. Newman to the side boards to Kaczynski. Kaczynski going for that far side pass to Morris. Morris dumps it into the hockey player. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You push on the back of that knee. That causes your leg to go forward and fall down. So Fager game gets caught doing that. And now USC will Brian draws a penalty. the opportunity on the power play. So Tripping. not good for Utah right now. Tripping just, is the call. They were just getting momentum there. And uh, Utah really jumped out on that power play. Less than 10 seconds in, they got the goal. Now the Trojans look to do the same thing, although if it takes them two minutes, I don't think it matters how long it takes you. As long as you get a power play goal, you're happy. But they'd love to answer back real quick. They're trying to signal to the refs that they don't have the scoreboard ready, but play goes on and walk on. Walking in, he hits two posts with that shot. Goes back to the point to Weininger. Weininger back to the sideboards to Zabar. To Weininger. Weininger trying to throw it to the net. Now it's in the slot, but it's cleared away by Tadis. Wasserfelder had a chance for a redirect there, but was unable to uh, redirect it in the right place. Now the Trojans setting up their breakout here, waiting for all their players to come down, and here they come. Passing it over to Walken. Walk on, stepping across the blue line, gains the zone. Trojans looking to set it up. It's rang back to the far sideboards there. That's Washingtonfelder. Washingtonfelder up top, and a big shot by his loss gets gobbled up by Pete Gibb. 11.42 left to go in the third. 1-5 hockey. Coons controlling it behind the Utah okay. net. Good penalty kill for the Utah Utes on that one. Reed catches the pass, but has to come back with it. Throws it up over the glass, and we'll have a stoppage in play. 10-15 left to go in the third. Now, folks, I know you can't feel this at home, but um, obviously this is an ice rink, and it's freezing cold in here. But the uh, outside... The outside temperature actually affects here at Anaheim Ice more than a lot of rinks because of the way the roof is built. If it's freezing cold outside, it's even colder in here. And uh, with the temperatures the way they are, obviously we're not in the snow like most people are right now, but it is extra cold here at Anaheim Ice today. Halfway through the third, Utah's trying to tie this up. And here comes McDonald. McDonald on his backhand, trying to go wide, puts on the brakes, looking for someone. Decides to just throw it at the net, but it hits Newman. Newman blocks it away. Tadis bounces it over to Monument. Monument trying to throw it up the ice, but no one's there. Monument now in some trouble. And the shot hit Gibb. So Gibb with the save. Here comes Monument now. Monument has some room to stay. Makes a move at the blue line. It's not offside. Winds up a shot, and McDonald gets the rebound, but that's saved by Ciccone. So two great saves by Ciccone. His loss. Throwing it. And Ciccone had no chance at it as he was on his back on the other side of the net. A gaping hole for Monument, and just like that, it's a tie game. 7-18 left. 
What a game we are watching here, Cole. A great game between the Trojans and the Utes. And now it's all tied up with an exciting seven minutes to play in here at Anaheim Ice. So Utah with the momentum right now. They just uh, had two unanswered goals for them. Monument getting both of them. Newman dumping it into the zone for the Trojans. Puck being fought for the here on the near side. Puck comes out and it's Weininger who will throw it back into the zone. Gibbs stopping it. Hurst coming back to play it, trying to get by two Trojans and a ref, unable to do so. Hurst still has it though, but Newman for his efforts wipes out. Here comes Tadis. Tadis coming in on net, going for the shot, but a diving play. Can't see who that is there, but a great diving play. I believe that's Ryan Manning. Great effort by him. The Trojans throw it out of the zone and goes all the way down for icing. 6.31 left to go in the third as I believe they're trying to get Manning back out on the ice here, but he's shaken up after that diving play. He slid into the boards. And so he's going to take a seat on the bench. He might have gotten a skate to the chest because it was right around there. And uh, he was he was not looking good even before he hit the boards. But as you said earlier, uh, they definitely have the momentum, the Utes do. And uh, that's really good for them. Obviously, just, over, uh, just under six and a half minutes left. Tie hockey game here. Both teams trying to get something done. Puck bounces off of Brown and Coombs throws it back in. Trying to allow his forwards to fight for it. Weininger comes away with it and stops behind the net. Utes doing a 2-1-2 pressure right now. You can hear McDonald up here yelling at his forwards to get in there and pressure the Trojans. Keep the puck down low. Keep them pressured and try to keep the puck in there so we can get some opportunities. Six minutes left to go. Everything on the line here. Winner of this game, playing in the championship. Doug Newell set to take the face off for the Utes. Because he's going to be kicked out as he jumps the gun a little bit on that one. So Bernoulli steps in, wins the draw back to Coons. Coons throwing it towards the net. It's a lobber, and it's saved by Ciccone. Puck riding around on the rim. Coons trying to keep it in. Makes a couple shifty moves there and does so. Now it's his loss. His loss ringing it around to Newman. Goes a little bit past Newman though. And here comes Bert Noli on the far boards. Trying to backhand it in and it's tipped away. That one was off of East Laws' stick and almost went right towards Chaconi. Both teams playing very well right now. Kaczynski getting it out of the zone. Brown over to Newell. Newell trying to go cross ice, but Bert Noli hits it out of the air. Newman will backhand it into the zone for the Trojans. Newell now on the far boards. He's coming in looking for someone to pass to. He finds Otley. Otley coming in. Throws it towards the net and misses. Now Reed with the shot just wide of the net. Reed back in the play. Burton Oley trying to escape. Here's Fager again. Fager again throws it towards the net and it's easily blocked by, by Ciccone. Trojans are going to play how how hard can you hit it as much as they can over the next minute and about 15 seconds. Monument stops behind the net, keeps the puck, passes it to Hurst. Hurst with a nifty move to get by Zach Zabar there. Zabar's been having a good game, though. Puck going to the slot, gets up high into a couple of players, though, and no one's able to get a shot off, and the Trojans clear the zone. Jim with a long pass of his own, gets it over to Reed. Reed steps across, and now he's trying to set it up. Little pass to Seastrand. Seastrand with the shot and the glove saved by Ciccone. 46 seconds left to go on this power play. Quick glove by Ciccone. Got to point out, both uh, Monument and uh, Zbar both have two goals, as uh, you could definitely chalk them up as two of the players of the game, I would say, two of the stars of the game, because they are... Uh, the reason why their teams are in this right now. Coons winds up, takes a shot, but it's tipped off of Zabar. Back up to Wilt. Wilt over to Newell. Newell back to Wilt. Wilt looking for a nice low shot. It gets there, but it's blocked away by Ciccone. Players fighting for it. Coons with a shot up high. Goes back in front of the net, and it's Burton Oli going in there trying to get a shot off. Unable to do so. C strand to Burton Oli behind the net. Cat is going into the high slot, but the pass doesn't come. 
Now it's ringing around the boards, walking, trying to get it out. Here comes uh, Washenfelder. Washenfelder trying to get it out. Newell has it now. On that uh, breakaway that Washenfelder had out of the box, got to give credit to the uh, Utah defenseman. The speed really saved them because uh, Gibb might have had a one-on-none facing him. But uh, the defense getting in there, helping out. Newell trying to get it out of the zone. He's fighting with Kaczynski. York comes in, though, and takes it. York ringing it around the boards. Tadis stops it. Tadis tries to bump it ahead for the Trojans there. Here comes York. York with some speed going across the ice. Comes into the, the zone, trying to get a shot. Third period, 33.3 seconds left to go. Never seen that before. That, uh, that I, I really wish I had a camera right now. I would love to take a picture of that scoreboard. 3-3-3. Three and three. Newell trying to step by, takes a shot. Chaconi will cover it up again. And some players, a little bit of a bump at the end of that. Seastrand crashing the net there. 29.7 seconds left to go. Intense music is playing. Newell set to take the draw. Back to Seastrand. Seastrand tries to get a quick shot. It's on the ice, and Chaconi blocks it away. 25 seconds left to go. There's going to be a penalty here on the Trojans, I believe. Tripping is going to be the call. It's on number 25. That's Ryan Manning. He's been in the box a couple times today. Either way you send it, whether they fend off this uh, penalty here in the third period or, uh, or if they end up going over to overtime, you do not want a penalty this late in the game. That's Absolutely. Not something you want to do. I said the refs would even make a call that late in the game. There's only 23 seconds left to go. This is a bad break, break for USC, and the Utes are going to try to capitalize right now. Over to Hurst. Hurst being pressured, though. Ran into the boards. Trojans get it. Hurst knocks it out of midair, though, and throws it towards the net. It's covered up by Chicone. 9.8 left to go. Chicone, lucky that uh, that puck was not bounced around. There were three Utah skaters. And one Trojan skater back there. That was almost a great chance. This game was almost over like that. Seastrand comes in for the right wing, replacing Fager again. McDonald set to take the draw. McDonald wins the draw back. Hurst steps in trying to make a move, and it is backhanded out of the zone. And time should run out here as we are headed to overtime. In this Pac-8 tournament, winner of this game going on to play in the championship <laughs> game tomorrow. And we have a nail-biter, barn burner, warm this place up. That works. The personnel on the ice right now for the Trojans. We have Weininger, <laughs> Islas, and Washenfelder. So four on three hockey. Here we go, overtime. And the puck is immediately shot over the boards by Islas, as uh, some people have fun with that one. <laughs> well, that was quick. That, that was quick. If we keep doing that, we're going to be here for a couple hours. <laughs> anyway, back to the action now. Here we go. Exciting play here in Anaheim. Here comes Harris coming up the ice. A Trojan player fell down. Harris throwing it towards the net. It's just by and McDonald dives into the net and gets the game-winning goal. What a score for Utah benches. And Utah will be advancing to the championship game tomorrow for the Pac-8 conference here in Anaheim. So it's going to be Utah and Oregon. That's going to be a great game. What numbers are they? Oh, yeah, one and two. The number one and number two team will be in the championship. That's the way it's written up. That's the way it's supposed to be. And it should be an exciting one here in Anaheim tomorrow. Absolutely. I want to thank, uh, thank you, Christian, for being up here with us today. My pleasure. This has been fun.
done. This is the last game of the day. We want to thank all the viewers at home for watching as the teams are lining up for the handshake. A uh, beautiful thing to see. And you can beautiful see, line in sports. You can see the sportsmanship. This was a hard-fought, hard-fought game. A uh, very close game. About uh, as close as it can get. Utah strikes fast in the overtime uh, off that penalty to Manny. Surprised that was called that late in the game here at the Pack A tournament. But it was, and Utah capitalizes on it and will advance. We'll have that game for you tomorrow. Utah versus Oregon. That's at 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. On behalf of myself and Christian here, we want to thank everyone for your support. And we will see you all tomorrow. Thank you.